The Industrial Revolution. Great Britain at the start of the 18th century. Across Europe, life had changed very little since the Middle Ages. Fields were being farmed very slowly, by hand, or at best, with mules and horses. There were very few cows or sheep. Most people couldn't afford to buy meat. Thread was spun on homemade spinning wheels. And clothes were made on small looms. Iron was worked in homemade forges using charcoal. But charcoal comes from trees, and trees were starting to become scarce. But then, someone discovered a different kind of coal. This coal came from the ground. Now iron could be worked much more quickly. At that time, a very clever man called James Watt invented a machine that was going to change everything. He thought that with the help of water, iron and coal, you could make a wheel move. This is what he achieved, and that was how the steam engine was born. Thanks to what, other great inventors made more amazing machines. <laughs> Jethro Tull turned the machine into a powerful harvester. Another man traded in his plough horses for a more powerful machine. Even spinning changed, thanks to Richard Arkwright. A certain sailor decided that sailing ships were out of fashion. While another man thought that if the steam engine could be used to move ships, it could move him as well. Thankfully, someone else improved his idea. In this way, Richard Trevithick invented the locomotive. With so much iron and all these new machines, a lot more things could be achieved. Machines could even make other machines, which in turn would make yet more machines. But in order to get all these machines going, they needed more people, workers. So people from the countryside went to live in the cities in order to work in the new factories. Now there was food, clothes, hospitals and work for everyone. The dream of a few men brought about perhaps the most important revolution in the history of man, the Industrial Revolution.